Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm so 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 excited to finally be filming a video for you guys. We're really face to face. I know lately I have been uploading vlogs for you guys. I'm trying to stay consistent with that. Um, but yeah, uh, I was like crunch time for school. I graduated recently. So that is why I have not been so consistent with you guys like I've been wanting to be. There may be times where I can't upload as much during the summer like I really really want to because I'm working like full-time hardcore so yeah I hate to give you guys excuses they're not excuses but some may take it that way I'm trying my best guys that's all I gotta say I'm really really excited and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today's video I'm gonna be talking to you guys about my experience at BeautyCon with a general admission ticket as well as meeting Nicole Guerrero so if you guys want to know all the good deeds and stuff like that then keep on watching Alright guys, so to start off, I'll just tell you that I had the general admission ticket. The general admission ticket was about $51 with tax and all that stuff. It wasn't like something I wouldn't say was worth it or was not worth it. I did like a lot of research through YouTube and a lot of people seem to have gotten way more stuff than what my friend and I got just for a general admission ticket. I have to put a disclaimer out there, I am not hating at all. I had an amazing time at BeautyCon, however, I did expect way more, a lot better, a much better experience. So it didn't really reach my expectations, but overall I still had a great time. I have written down on my notes uh, the order of what I'm going to talk to you guys and how I'll talk to you guys about the entire event because this is not my first time filming this video. As I was like going back through it, it was like super confusing and pretty long. So I don't want to make this so long for you guys. I just want to get, you know, the main points of it and uh, kind of make it short and sweet. So, like I said, I had a general admission ticket. Basically, walking in there, the one thing that I wish that they did was had like escorts there in a way. I know it sounds very extra, but for someone who's never ever been to any type of convention, especially for beauty, I felt it was necessary because my friend and I had no idea where we were going. If you guys saw my vlog for the beauty con events that I went to, then you guys would see this like rectangular area where the unicorns were. And the first impression my friend and I had was that that was the only place general admission people were allowed to be because there were curtains blocking off any other areas and we just were under the impression that that was a social lounge area, uh, the horror pass area and we were general admission so we would get literally nothing. So we were under the impression for about 30 minutes or so because we were walking around the area still very clueless. Like it wasn't fair for me and my friend and probably any other person who was just as clueless as I was, honestly. So, yeah, that's something that we both had wished that there was someone telling us, okay, this is where you go, this is where you go, blah, 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 blah. As soon as you walk in, there are pamphlets on the front desk, and we were looking through them, and we were basically just seeing who's going to be here at what time and at what stage slash booth. Even though my friend and I had the app, um, it was killing our batteries like crazy especially mine so I immediately deleted it as you guys saw my vlog the first booth that we actually walked towards was Redkin and if you guys watch or even heard of Nicole Guerrero Nicole Guerrero announced that she would be at Redkin so as soon as we were in the area I immediately thought we weren't allowed to be there just simply because we were general admission and I thought Nicole deserved something bigger and better not like I, I felt like she deserved a VIP section so when we were there, I was like, no way, this is her booth. Like, this can't be. Like, we're not allowed to be here. Where are we supposed to be? So there's confusion stage number two. And then we walked around the booth, and I remember from Nicole's vlog, because I'm such a loyal fan, that she said she's going to have a different color hair at the, the meet and greet. So immediately I thought something crazy, like, okay, yellow or uh, sunset rainbow colors that she's probably gonna have so I walked around the booth and what do you know I see a lady with a wig that has yellow sunset kind of themed uh, hair color so immediately I thought that's Nicole it was around 12 15 and she announced that she'll be at BeautyCon around 1 p.m. so I got really excited I didn't even catch a face it was just a quick glance I told my friend Katie and I was like oh my god Katie that's Nicole and she's like no way and I was like, yes, it is. So she's taller than me. So when I saw her reaction seeing Nicole, 
I freaked because she was like, oh my god, that's Nicole. So like I said, like she's taller than me. She reacted that way, so it made me feel like it really was Nicole. There was a huge line already, so I was like, it must be Nicole. So we went on that line and we met someone named Taylor, as I mentioned in my vlog. So hey Taylor, once again, we were talking, chit-chatting, basically uh, showing our love for Nicole and how excited and nervous we were that we were actually about to meet her. She had a different pass, I think the the hauler pass, not really sure which pass she had, but it was more expensive than what we had, about $200 more expensive. Yeah. She did tell us that she didn't think it was worth it. She had a huge bag filled with like different makeup products, like samples, and she said it wasn't worth it. So I'm not too sure. Um, I'm still kind of like on the edge, like I want to see it for next year. As we get closer, we realized that Nicole was not in the booth and that's when I really looked at my clock and I was like, yeah, she's supposed to come in at 1, not 12 or 12.30. There are a lot of people and soon the rumors started coming saying Nicole's actually going to come here. And people started cutting, like not really cutting us, but getting in groups and, you know, forming lines in front of us. So my girl Taylor was you know, pretty sassy, which I must say I loved because if it wasn't for her, we probably wouldn't be the first ones to meet Nicole that day. She kept saying that she didn't want to really move because she was there for one reason and that was to see Nicole. She wasn't there to get into the Redken booth to try any samples or waves or take pictures because that's what Redken was offering. And Katie, myself, and Taylor, we, we agreed. We didn't want to do anything that Redken was offering. We only want to see Nicole and then afterwards maybe do those fun little things that Redken offered. We stood in line, we waited and other people behind us didn't even know about Nicole. So we didn't know what to do, whether to step inside and like kind of ditch the whole event in a way and then come back. But I was like, we are not coming back. Like, did you see the line? We were first in line guys. That line was huge behind us, okay? So we were not leaving that line for nothing. We ended up asking a lady that works at Redken to kind of give us her opinion on whether to leave or not and she told us to stay. So we ended up staying and boy, are we glad we stayed. As soon as you see Nicole coming with Jeremy, every there's like a huge mob around her as expected. And those girls form a line right in front of us. It's Taylor, me, Katie, and then the rest of the people forming the line like they're supposed to on this side. Then as soon as Nicole comes, there's so many people forming a line from here down. And all of us were like, what? Because it's not like Nicole got into the Redken booth and started accepting the people and saying, hey girl, or anything. No. She went inside the Redken booth and started doing her thing for Redken and started taking pictures and started doing things for her vlog and yada, yada, yada. And then she started doing the meet and greet. So it was about 15 minutes after she actually came in the booth that we were still there on the line kind of mentally arguing with the people who decided to cut us. It wasn't fun. It wasn't. I was like, this is not fair. I waited here for at least 40 minutes just to see her. You're not going to cut us. Like, we had that attitude. We didn't say anything really. Eventually, one of the workers came in. They're like, okay, everyone on this side has to go back around to the end of the this line. So a lot of people were really mad. They were saying that they've been there since, you know, the beginning and waiting as much time as we were, which could be true, but you weren't online. You might have been waiting like right here while we were here as told. So that's your last honey, not mine. <laughs> so eventually um, they told us that we could get into the booth to wait, you know, at least maybe two more minutes to meet Nicole Guerreros. It was a great surreal moment. Taylor kept saying she can't do it, she can't do it, which made me really, really nervous. My friend Katie wasn't even talking saying like small words so I was like oh my god please talk to me but she was just as nervous as me so I wasn't expecting her to say anything anyway. Taylor was first to meet her and once she you know had her pictures taken with her super quick super fast I was like oh, it's my turn like this is someone that I look up to so much it's her and a Carly Bible. Um, I posted my Face Your Fears video so I hope you guys check that out soon if you haven't already and I kind of mentioned that both Nicole and Carly are a huge inspiration to me, especially with the beauty world and the YouTube world that I'm trying to like collide. Just as they did, I want to give them credit and I can't believe I met one of them already, so it's insane to me. So when I met her, I was a little shook. I was kind of speechless and kind of didn't say anything for a little bit. Like I gave her a hug, I told her, oh my god, I love you, you're amazing, you're a huge inspiration to me and you inspired me to do my YouTube channel. And they had this little booth and we took like four pictures. Right, like after I said hello, gave her a hug. By the way, she gives the best hugs. If you guys 
ever get the chance to meet Nicole Guerrero, make sure you hug her and make sure it's like three seconds or more. It's worth every every second, honestly. She gives the best hugs and I'm so happy I hugged her. Like it was so amazing, honestly. Like it was great. After I gave her that hug, gave her my little hello, we were able to sit down in a little booth to take four Snapchat pictures. Right before, while they were setting up to take those pictures, in between the time after I hugged her and getting ready for that, it was silence. And then she looked at me and she was like, like really sweet and like the biggest smile on her face. And I was like, yeah, I'm just waiting for these pictures. I was so stunned, guys. Super shook. I did not know what to say. I really didn't. And I was kind of disappointed in that and a little, little embarrassed. I don't know. So then I told her, I was like, I just want to tell you, you're like a huge inspiration, basically repeating what I did before. So then I stood up and I started crying once the pictures started to be taken. I shed like maybe one or two tears, but it meant a lot to me. And she was like, don't cry on me. And she gave me another hug and then I left and then it was Katie's turn. I was waiting for Katie and I was just like, oh my God, like I can't believe I just met her. She's so amazing and so sweet, gives the best hugs and I can't believe I met her. Like that's... I check off my bucket list and now all I have to meet is Carly Bible I felt like that's it you know but of course I want to meet so many so many beauty gurus out there that um, inspire me so much it's not just Carly and Nicole there's so many out there that I want to meet but I, I can't believe I still can't believe I met Nicole like it's insane it was an amazing amazing experience I really hope all of you guys who are fans of her get a chance to meet her one day too because she was amazing, honestly. After getting the chance to meet Nicole and Katie finishing her little meet and greet with her as well, the Redken booth offered wigs and all that good stuff. So we ended up getting our sample from there, which was like a dry shampoo. We tried on some wigs and that was a lot of fun. I looked so different. I felt like I had cotton candy hair. And Katie said I looked really, really pretty with blonde hair. So I was like, maybe I'll go back because I used to be a blonde at one point. Not this blonde, but I was a blonde at one point. After that, we went to Absolute New York. I think that's the only one I could remember by name, like in the order. So I know we went to Absolute New York afterwards and we got some samples there. It was a pretty decent line. And then from there, we just roamed around. Overall, I really did enjoy BeautyCon. It was so much fun. It was a different experience, but I feel as though... The next time, and Katie and I both discussed this, next year we're going to save up all our money and we're going to get like the holler pass, social lounge pass, anything. Because we feel that it'll be better for us. We're makeup lovers. We want to get a free free tote bag and filled with a lot of makeup. You know, like we want that. We got into BeautyCon basically relying on all the YouTubers that we've seen who aren't really like big YouTubers. They're just like, like myself and Katie. We, we felt that we would have the same experience with the general admission ticket as they did at BeautyCon. They were just general admission tickets and they had huge bags. They got the tote bag for free with nothing in it, but they had so many samples. So I felt that Katie and I could have had maybe a similar experience if we were more patient and literally waited on every single line there. We probably would have had a lot more stuff than we did. But the bag itself is from Cantu. You guys see Cantu. So Cantu is one of the very last places that we went to. We got there around 11.30 and we left around 5.36-ish. Cantu was the last place that we went to. It was either Cantu or Shea Moisture. I know for a fact we're the last two places we went to. So we, weren't with, we were without a bag the entire time, which is like very like upsetting because I the whole time I thought we were gonna at least get a bag like a free tote bag I wasn't expecting anything in it I kind of feel like I'm asking for too much but like I said I was under the impression that journal admission people would get at least a free tote bag you know we didn't get anything like that we basically had to go to every single counter if they weren't with any lines do you guys have free samples? Do you guys see that free samples? A lot of them said that you had to purchase something and then with that you get a free sample and a lot of them said, no, we don't have free samples. So I was like, all right, that's cool. And most of the free samples, of course, as expected, had huge, huge lines. It took a really long time to get this bag, but I thought it was really cute and my friend and I were very, very thankful to finally have a bag when we did. I'm about to do a mini haul and swatch video on all the things that I got from BeautyCon, so don't you worry. I don't want to like spill the beans. <laughs> Going back to my rating and everything, I absolutely love BeautyCon, but definitely I feel like 
you guys should get a much more expensive pass because you're going to get more things, you know? It won't feel like more of a just a mirror shopping type of thing. You're actually going to get things. Awesome experience. I feel like any beauty lover should go attend BeautyCon at least one time in their life. I know I'm going to definitely go again next year, but with a more expensive pass. Like, that's it. But I do definitely recommend those who have never, ever gone to BeautyCon to only get the journal admission ticket. You don't want to... A, you don't want to spend so much money on an event you've never been to, so you don't even know, like, what's it really like. You know, I could be telling you that I've had such an amazing time. I met Nicole Guerrero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But your time could be horrible, you know? So you can't really rely on one person's um, opinion on such an event, even though that's basically what my friend and I did because we that, like, rose our expectations to the sky. Like, it was crazy. So we, we left a little bit upset, a little bit, not too much. We expected so much better though, but that's okay. We know for next time and we still want to go next year. So yeah, but like I said, I highly, highly recommend that anyone for a first timer that goes to BeautyCon to get just the general admission ticket, you'll still love it. Just remember you have to be patient and ask like literally every single booth if they have free samples, if it's not already posted. So yeah, stay tuned for my mini haul video, swatch video on all the things that I got from BeautyCon. I really, really hope you guys enjoy this video. I know it's like long overdue considering I went like last Sunday. But anyways, stay tuned for more videos. If you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe that little red button down below. If you guys have missed my vlog going to BeautyCon, I suggest you watch watch it but until then you can watch my other videos and I'll see you guys in my next one bye